think I'm going to be doing an acrylic painting on canvas. And remember with acrylic paints, you can wash your brush with just plain water. There's no odors. It's safe to use. But don't let that paint dry on your brush. If you do, you'll wound your brush because they do dry solid. All right, I'm gonna start. I've got my brush filled both sides with white gesso. White gesso basically is a uh, liquidy white paint with a binder. I'm picking up alizarin crimson on one side and some either phthalo blue or you can use a uh, aquamarine blue, whichever blue you like, but it's a darker blue. And you got that on the other side. The canvas, I did wet the canvas and I have a little mister, it's just basic water. You can cover your canvas with uh, the gesso before doing this, but I'm just, I want the colors to be a little more vibrant today. So you can see how bright those colors are. I do have gesso in my brush. I picked it up with just the brush. I'm going back into the same thing, alizarin on one side, the ultramarine blue on the other. Let's come back in, I want to keep getting it darker up here. Then I'm going to work my way down. When you have the gesso on it, it, the paints come off a little smoother, a little brighter. And I'm going to go in and just pick up straight white gesso and bring some of that in here. The brush, and if the paint's too dry, just pick up a little water on your brush. I'm coming back up, working that back up into the blues. Just back and forth. I want a bright, bright sky. All right, I'm going to pick up some more of the whites. Now, this is just a gesso, and I'm going to come down here. I still got some blues in it. You can see it streaking in, and that's fine. I have a painting knife. Mine's pretty dirty, but and I'm gonna pick up some of my blues. Put it on palette. Oh, and some of the alizarin. And these are thicker paints. I'm just mixing them right on my palette, just like that pick up some more and depending on what color you want your mountains I'm going to do some mountains today and you can get a little more towards the purples with or you can get a little more towards the and if you want to see what color you have on there just take a little bit of white on the tip and you can just you can see that's a little more towards the reds and purples I can add a little more blue if I want to go more towards the blue colors. So then I'm going to just cut a piece off. I'm going to start up here. And all I'm worried about is tops of the mountain. And when you do mountains, you can round them off. You can have them pointed. You decide what kind of mountain you want. But don't have them all the same size. If you do get one that's the same height as the other one, just go ahead and make one either a little taller. Let's go pick up some more. These are rounded, so I'm gonna go in and maybe maybe round that one just a little bit. Okay, just pull that off. Pull that off to that side. And then I'm going to pick up some of the excess, but don't touch the tops of the mountains. You want that nice, clean line up there. All right. Now that I have that, I'm going to 
to take. A wider brush that's got a little gesso on it. And I'm gonna start here and figure out which way your light's coming from. I'm gonna pull that out, but leave those tops of the mountains. And I'm gonna do the same here. And then I'm just lightly, lightly pulling on that side, barely touching, follow the angles. But you know what? I think I'm going to take my bigger brush. It seems to work better. I'm just using paper towels to wipe and dry off my brush. I'm going to use my wider one. Ah, there. There's more what I want. That works a lot better. And I'm just going to kind of tap on the bottom. Sort of a misted area. All right. I'm going to take some of my whites. And same thing. Just get a little bit on the edge. And I'm going to start on the top. And if you got a shaky hand, just let the canvas just roll down the canvas and let the canvas pull off what it wants. See how that's breaking real nice? You get all that nice looking snow coming down your mountain. Let's go up on the tall one. And you can see my hand is shaking a little bit as it's coming down. And you're just doing basically the side where the light is coming from. Let's pick up some more whites. Let's do that last one. And my hand is almost flat. You can see it's almost scraping on the canvas. And this is more of the heavier paint. This is not the gesso. This is titanium white. Then I'm going to mix some of that white with a little bit of that mountain color. And leave it marble. Don't. And yeah. I'm going to pick it up, but I'm picking it up with the short edge of the knife. And over here, I'm going to pull a little. Um, and I picked up a little bit too much red, so let's go back in with some of the purples. And I can even pick up some of the darker mountain if I get here. I got a little too light. So and let's pick up some of the light snow. Okay, and maybe that snow ridge comes down. Maybe, maybe down through there. And I can even take a little bit of the white, sort of, maybe a couple little pockets of snow, sort of got in here. All right. Maybe a little more up on the top of this mountain. All right, we got our first mountain range. Now we need a separator from the next range. And the more layers you put in a painting, the further back everything starts pushing. So I've just got the brush with gesso. Right on the bottom I'm going across and I'm basically just tapping. And I'm working my way up. Now I'm starting to work my way up with the mountains a little bit. 
and it's picking up more of that lavender purple color. to that same mountain color. I'm gonna add a little more white to it. Not a lot, I still want it dark. And I'm pulling some off. Then down here, oh maybe we got another mountain. Pull that out. Pick up some more. Maybe right in here and they're starting to get the same height so this one's going to come up a little taller maybe 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 it's got a double peak and we'll pull it off to there let me pull off some of this excess underneath we can even run that out over here. Okay, I'm cleaning that off. Go back into my whites. Same thing. Before I do that, I think I'm going to pull some of that out a little bit. Yeah, I lost a little bit of this peak, so I just put a little dark in behind it. That's all I did there. A little more of the white. And there's another little peak there. Maybe pull some out this way. I don't have much paint on there, so I'm just pulling that out. Maybe right along here. So we've got another set of mountains. In front. I'm going to take white. This brush seems to be working a little better. It's it's more open. And we're gonna tap and go up the mountains. Follow the contours of the mountain. And then I'm gonna bring that down, down. To some of my gesso that's the looser white I think up here and you could have did this before you put the mountains in but it doesn't matter I'm just going to add a couple clouds kind of break up some of that bright red and basically just picking up some of my white and I don't have a lot of paint just sort of scrubbing it in a little bit and make sure you sort of fade the bottoms out the tops are more whiter, <laughs> fluffier. How oh, you want to put it? Maybe one over here. Bring that in a little closer. Here. Maybe 
creepy. One there. Can even take a little, a little bit of the pinks. Oops, a little too much. Wipe some of that off. Pick up a little more white. And then even at the bottom of some of these. Maybe on this one here. Don't be touching the top of your mountains. You'll be having purple clouds. All right, I think I'm gonna touch a little pink here. I think I sort of lost some of that. So you, you can change things up as you go along. Just sort of look around, see what needs it. Stand back, it's the easiest way to do it. Okay, I'm just taking some more white on here. It still had some of the purples in it, but all I'm doing is adding some more whites back here. Looks like almost you got trees back here, snow covered. Let's see. Maybe it's a frosty morning and everything is covered in frost. Let's get one a little higher here. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of that mountain color. Not much. Back to it. It's mostly white. And I'm going to kind of Bring that down here. And then I'm gonna go back into my whites. I think I even got a little pink there. And I'm gonna lay some snow in. bit of blue in there just looks like shadows and I'm gonna keep coming down with the snow all the way to the bottom and here I see I've got a hair in there and I'm just gonna pick it off just like that little brush here. So now I'm going to go in, pick up some blue, maybe down here. It's a little valley. I can even take a little bit, maybe coming down from here some shadows in the snow. Taking a little bit of the blue, mixing with some of the white. Okay. I'm gonna take my fan brush, where is it? dampen it. I'm going to go into the blue and white mixture. In the, they're all fanned out. Maybe something along the bottom here. Let's get a little more white. You can see back into my blues here. If your paint doesn't come off, add just a touch of water. Not too much. You don't want it dripping. There's the blues. Back into my whites. See that little something growing along there? And then just take the kind of some of the bottoms of it. Maybe here. 
I'm gonna go in straight white. Still got a touch of blue on my brush, but not much. Maybe. Maybe there's a smoke-covered evergreen here a little bigger. You can even touch just a, maybe a touch on the corner of the greens. Maybe, maybe you can just barely see a little bit of the green underneath. You can barely see the green on the corner, just here and there. I'm gonna go back over with some of my whites. Same thing on this side, maybe. In fact, I think I'm going to mix some of the green with the blue over here. And we'll bring that down, those couple. They're going to come down to here. Some bigger trees. And then back in just basic white. Oops, I picked up some pink with that. That's fine. We got a little reflection off the... Let's go back in and clean that up. Just get the whites. And you see how I flipped the brush? I used just the corner of the brush. And when I use the corner of the brush here, when it starts running out of paint, I flip it and use the other corner. And back and forth. That's all that is. A little bit of the blues underneath. Maybe some shadows coming out from those trees. Let's give this one a little bit of a shadow coming off of that mountain. All right, we've got a nice mountain scene here. Okay. Put that brush in water, wash it a little bit. Take, oh, there's my brush I'm looking for. Go into some blues. Pick up blue on one side, a little white on the other, maybe. I'm just barely touching. There's a little stream coming out. And as I get out more, push a little harder with that color. And I don't want, I don't want a river or big, I just need a little stream coming out. I'm going to take some of the blues, the alizarins, and the greens. Mix them, but I want more blue. I want it dark blue. Just want it dark. And over here, I'm going to, a little dark shoreline and maybe here keeping that water fairly straight and I'm going to take a clean dry brush and just kind of pull that a little bit here and there back here I just barely touching just where it's coming out, maybe it widens up a little bit here. Get a little wider. And okay. Clean that brush as well. Dry it on my paper towels. I'm gonna pick up some white. Gonna make it look like there's snow piling up along the banks. You can see it sort of and pull it back. Pick up some more white on this side. It's a fairly simple painting. It's mostly the mountains that are that we're highlighting here. And you can just sort of and then you can pull those back a little bit. 
And you can even take your knife, pick up some white, put a line or two in, in here, keeping those lines fairly straight. Even take a little bit of the darker blues, maybe maybe along the shoreline here and there. You can see a little bit of the. Oops. And when you get too much, just take your brush, take it right off, come back in and just sort of blend it. And we're all set. And take some of that light blue and right along in here, just add some shadows. I don't want too many. I just, as it comes down, maybe give it some white here, piled up right here against that shoreline. So we got ourselves a nice little stream just coming down. I'm going to take my twiggy brush, and that's that little thin one. I'm going to go in the lizards, the greens, a little touch of the blue, but mostly it's the greens and the lizards. I want I want a dark brown. That's the only reason I'm adding the blue, but it's green and a lizard, crimson is what makes the brown. Adding the blue will actually turn it more black. I don't want it actually black, I just want it a little bit darker. And here, oh, I want to touch the edge of the canvas. If you touch the edge of the canvas with your finger, you have a tendency to be a little steadier. Maybe there's a fence here, post here. In fact, I think I'm gonna drag one side of that brush through some white, so I got White on one side, brown on the other. And this fence post comes sort of following the long. Let me pick up a little more of the browns here. Clean that. I'm going to just pick up straight white. Each one I'm going to put a little cap of snow on it. Just touching, maybe some snow under the bottom. In fact, I think I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that light blue and sort of a shadow coming off of these. And it's sort of touching the bottom, it sets it on the ground so it isn't just floating in the air. I'm gonna take my knife and just a touch more blue to that brown getting it almost black. And then I'm gonna take the edge of it, just the point, kinda, oops, let me, got a little too much paint on that point. Sort of bring some lines. Yep. And let me pick up. Some rails along there. Maybe there's a rail. A couple rails just laying down. Maybe that one is laying down in the snow as well. And we'll put it the second one. And of course, we'll pick up a little bit of our white. Kind of put it on the bottom there so that the snow is sort of. And you got a little fence coming along. There, it gives you a little bit. And while we got some browns here, I'm going to add a little more the greens and your lizards to it. Get it more towards the browns. And I'm going to take lots of water. I'm going to get it like ink. And same thing brown on one side, white on the other. Yeah. I'm not going to have a tall tree, but just something of interest over here. 
Back to my, picking up more color, brown on one side, white on the other. And if it doesn't come off, add some more water to it. There you go. And you can pick up just some straight brown. Maybe lighten it a little bit. Maybe just a couple little branches coming off of everywhere here. Maybe a little one here coming down. Let's take just straight brown. I want to darken this edge a little bit and give it a little foots. Maybe. Maybe there's something coming off over here. You decide how many branches your tree has. Back a little bit of white, just straight white. We can build some snow around the bottom of it coming down. It's sort of just take off this and kind of pull it back up, blend it back in. All right, I think we got a decent painting here. Get my dark colors again, make uh, some darks, almost black. Get that nice and wet like ink. And maybe up here we've got, oh, we do now. We've got a couple birds flying in. There's a nice pair of birds flying in. And I'm going to go into my reds. And I don't have any of the bright red here, so we're going to use alizarin crimson today. I usually use the bright reds to sign, but we're going to sign this one. And I think I'll come over here. And I think we have another finished painting. I hope you enjoyed that. Purple Mountains.